We move over to uh, Steve over at uh, Swan Financial. Uh, Steve, this uh, Jason sent us this email. He says, this just happened at the end of June. He writes, I was all queued up to buy a house, inspections, appraisals, all were good to go. And, of course, we had the pre-approval from, and he uses the name of the mortgage company. We're not going to use their name, but I'll just say there's a logo of a spaceship in their logo of the, their name and hopefully that tells you well he says literally days before closing they basically said we were not these jason wasn't approved for a loan apparently debt to income ratio was too risky etc he says i have no idea how such a simple initial credit check balance sheet got overlooked until the very last moment he says we were first time home buyers never closed before does this happen so steve tell us First, let's let's not use the name of the company. How often does this type of thing happen, and why did it happen to Jason? Yeah, unfortunately, that's a heartbreaker, especially as a first-time home buyer. For sure, yeah. tanks the whole process. Um, it does ha- happen. I mean, I, I get uh, calls from realtors all the time that that need assistance with buyers that have had approval letters that, when it comes down to it, has no ability to close. But we do save a lot of them. The reason. Uh, most of the time, obviously, it's loan officer error, uh, bottom line. They're probably not collecting the income documentation. Uh, they're just accepting uh, what is put into the system without verifying. And that's an important step. That's the step uh, that, that gets the difference of closing a loan versus not closing. And um, if, if you're working with a loan officer and he hasn't asked for your income documentation uh, to document or verify what actually is available for your income that the underwriter is going to use, not what you say you have, not what your hourly rate is, because that's not always what the underwriters use. But what we can use uh, in our true debt-to-income ratio dictates how much you're approved for and, in some cases, whether you're approved at all. 